So, exciting times, end of the last series. It looked like you are going to be somebody's important love interest going forward. I could be two people's. Yeah, a triangle. I mean, There's yes, going to be a love triangle. Could be a love triangle. Oh, are you nodding? Hint, hint. What's coming next? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Okay. I really don't. I mean, I wish I could even tease you with something yeah. that I know, but it would anything I say would be made up. All yeah. I know is that I think Shonda's going to have a fun time playing with audience's expectations and whether she fulfills them or not I think is up to her discretion I, I think you know there's probably going to be a a bumpy road to whatever's going to end up happening but I really don't know what that is so but pretty exciting to be paired straight off with uh you know the the, the major star of the show like it doesn't look like you got you're going to be going anywhere for a while let's just say well, who knows? <laughs> she may have her way with me and um you know we'll just kill you off toss me aside. yeah who knows <laughs> who knows this might be an irritating question, but obviously we've had McSteamy. Yes. Uh, McDreamy. Mm. You're going to have to be a muck something. What would you like to be? Well, I, I don't feel like I could choose my own mick. Okay. That would be a bit weird. Don't you think it's a bit weird? Uh, you could choose one for me. You could show me. a preference. I mean, the, the, it, trending is McHunky. Hunky. McHunky, yeah. Okay. You know what I've heard is Kiwi. McKiwi? Yeah. And that I feel sort like, of works. Well, I feel like I can live up to that. Too, you yeah, know, yeah. I don't, and there's not too much pressure. I already I pretty much fit the bill there, so. Okay, you're not going to choose I'm, one. I'm then. not going to choose. You're not no, going to go with no. it. As far as obviously, you come from New Zealand and you're spending a lot of time in the US. Um, a lot of the Dubai community is an expat community. How do you deal with missing home? Uh, well, I think Skype and FaceTime uh, are two very helpful inventions just I think just seeing my family from time to time and actually seeing their facial expressions and you know the way my mum's face scrunches up when she laughs or my nephews sort of jumping on each other and it for those moments I feel like I am actually with them so that's really helpful but I also I go home every Christmas pretty much without fail I think in 20 years I've maybe not been back three or four times so that's pretty imperative for me just to be in that really special family environment at least once a year. Um, and then, you know, my family visits me from time to time. And then I go back during the year if I have time off from work as well. And because, you know, as much as I love America and I, I actually became a citizen last year, which is... Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it was a big deal. And it was a big decision. But part of that was I was able to retain my New Zealand citizenship. So I have dual... Um, and I love America, I do, and I, it's given me so much. But that real connection to home, um, I, I only get when I go home. And so I, I just try to go back as much as I can and to be a part of everybody's lives. And just, you know, there's nothing like sitting around with people that you don't have to talk with. Mm. That kind of intimacy where you can just sit around and, you know, be rather than having to chat. I, I miss that kind of, those relationships. And how about uh, what you, the sort of the food and things like that that you miss from New Zealand? Do you have to have something in your trailer to, like, your creature comforts? From New comforts? Zealand? Yeah, like, are they those, those weird biscuits? Tim, Tim Tam biscuits? Tim like Tams? That? Yeah, they're not weird. Why are they weird? They're just I mean, not why, penguins. Why do you have to call New Zealand biscuits weird? I'm sure they're, your biscuits are <laughs> exceptional they're wonderful. biscuits. We have great, no, we have, we, have, we have ginger nuts. Or that might, do you have ginger nuts? They're British too, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah, well, we, you know, obviously, being a British colony, we, we have a lot of that stuff, but... um. Rations, twisties, pineapple lumps. That's all new. No, none of this, right? Um, but there's something. Cadbury's you chocolate. Or oh, you get Cadbury's here, right? That's that's British too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you like to have those. Uh, so creature comforts for your trailer. Uh, you know, it's it's pr none of that stuff. Get my, that always gets delivered to home, usually from my mum. So that usually gets eaten before I take it to the trailer. Um, in the in the trailer, it's it's pretty boring. You know, sparkling water. That's my thing. Um, lots of protein bars. I get. I have hypoglycemia, so every three hours I have to eat something, otherwise my, my energy just drops off. So okay. if I s start looking at you in this interview and, and not responding, it just feed me something. You need some, yeah. need some food. Uh, one last question. I know that uh, you've spent some time in Dubai. What are your uh, recollections of Dubai? Fond recollections, um, hopefully. I, I mean, for me, it was the opening of the Atlantis Hotel, I think, or there was something... Um, with the fireworks display, I'd never seen anything as elaborate and ongoing. I mean, it was truly phenomenal, the amount of fireworks they let off at this at this event. And 
I mean, great food. The one thing I didn't get to do, though, that I regret was the four-wheel drive out into the dunes, and that's, I regret that. And so if I go back, that's the, that's the thing I want to do, just sort of race around and have fun on the sand dunes. Brilliant. Well, we'll have to invite you back.